this project is for absolute beginners. All you need to know is how to make double crochet stitches and single crochet stitches and a foundation chain. And if you're very new to this and you don't know anything about it, you can go ahead and go to my other videos where I show you all the necessary skills needed in order to complete this one. I'm going to show you how to make this infinity cool scarf in this video. These are the materials I'm using in this project. Um, I use one skein of Lion Brand Medium Weight Number 4. Um, if you click below the description, you are going to find a list of the materials I'm using here, also the brand and where I look, look to locate them, okay? Um, I use in this case a burgundy reddish. The original project was brown, but I saw this color and I really love it. Um, this um, yarn, Lion Brand, um, is recommending a six point millimeter hook but i'm using in this project a 6.5 millimeter hook and the reason i'm doing that is because um i want to achieve the tension required for this specific project so that's why i went up a half millimeter more um i also i'm also using a tape measurement which is important um a pair of scissors and a medium sized tapestry needle for to weave the end. Let's start by making a foundation chain of 19 stitches. Now that we have completed the foundation chain of 19 stitches, we are going to start by making single crochet stitches. But there's a, a catch here. Well, I want you to pay a lot of attention. We are going to start um, crocheting our single crochet stitches on the back on the bumps on the back of the chain and if you're familiar with my other videos I, I'm always mentioning the front and the back of the chain the foundation chain and it's very easy it's a little tricky in terms of hand movements but you'll get it with time. I'm sometimes I still have issues with it, so don't worry, you're not the only one. So this is the these are the bumps. Okay, you're going to find the bumps here. So you're going to insert the hook right below this bump. Okay, and these are the bumps. Okay, we are going to start by inserting the hook. In the f in making the first single crochet stitch in the second stitch from the hook, so it will be one and two on this one. I always use my nail for the first one specifically. I do that, so I don't want to lose the tension. So that's why I do that. I got it here, so I don't lose the tension doesn't get too loose and I have my first single crochet and I continue across be patient with yourself it takes time guys so don't want you to get frustrated if you have to repeat 30 times do it 30 times until you get it that's the only way I learn how to crochet okay just be gentle with yourself so now let's continue and then you can meet me at the end okay now we have we should have you should have 18 stitches okay done remember we skipped one at the beginning which it will equals the height of the uh, single crochet stitch and turning point as well so that's why you should end up with 18 chain stitches and the reason why i'm emphasizing in the count is because it's very important to always count while you're working if you want to achieve even work okay okay so we are starting the second row by making three chains one two three and then we turn we are going to work from right to left this chain here is going to count as double crochet and it's used as a turning point as well as um, as well 
Now we're going to skip the first two stitches. So this one and this one we are going to skip and we are going to start by making a double crochet stitch on the third stitch. So we have one, two, three, and we are going to start here. We are going to insert between these two strands. Okay, let's start again. If you turn your work, you see a series of V's. You're going to work in the third one. It's hard to see with this one. A little hard, but I'll try my best. So let me count again. We have one, two, three in the third one. We make a double crochet stitch. Okay, now we are going to make another double crochet right next to it. And we are going to chain one. Now we are going to skip one chain stitch. So this one chain stitch below we are going to skip. And now we are going to make a double crochet in the next two chain stitches. We make two double crochet stitches. We added a chain, we're skipping one down here and we are going to make another one right next here. And then another double crochet stitch right next to it. Again, we are going to make a chain, skip one chain stitch below here, make two double crochet in the next two chain stitches. It's very simple and easy to do. Okay, chain one, skip one st chain stitch, make double crochet in the next two chain stitches. Well, I'm sorry, next stitches. Should have not said chain stitches. Chain one, skip one chain um, stitch, and then we are going to make two more double crochet stitches. Now you should have two stitches left. What we are going to do, we are going to chain one. We are going to skip the one below here and make just one double crochet right to the last stitch in between the two strands. Now you have two rows. It's starting to start taking a little shape, right? Now let me explain you the anatomy of this work. If you look below, you should have 18 stitches. Now, not counting the turning point or the double crochet on the side, we have two, four, six, eight, and 10 double crochet stitches. And then counting the turning point and the last double crochet stitch, that will be a total of 14 double crochet stitches. And if you count, the ones in between that you skipped, it should be all together 18 stitches. So that's how you know if you're being, if you're working even or not, okay? Now we are going to chain one and we, well, we are on turn. Now to start the second row, we are going to make single crochet stitches across. We are going to start by making a single crochet in the first, very first stitch between the two strands. Then we are going to make a single crochet stitch be, um, in this chain space. Now we are going to make single crochet stitches on top of these two double crochet in each of them between the two strands. Now again, in the space, one single crochet, and then on top of the two double crochet. 
chain space, double crochet. Chain space, double crochet. And you should end up with 18 single crochet stitches as well. And here, what I do is I make two single crochet in this last space and the reason why is because I skip one and then this one counts, counts as another one. The last double crochet. And that's how you do. Now again we are going to repeat the same steps we make for the first, um, the second row and the third row which were the single crochet and then the double crochet and then single crochet again I'm sorry the second and the third so we are going to chain three turn and now you are going to skip the very first two um two stitches one two and you're going to make your first double crochet stitch on the third stitch which is on the top of this single crochet and below the double crochet here, okay? Between the two strands. I'm going to repeat this and then one next to it. You chain one, skip one stitch, then double crochet in the next two. And you can write below if you don't understand specifically one step, you let me know. I have the patient, I can even email you and explain you a little bit more about it. Chain one, skip one stitch, double crochet. I'm open to suggestions as well. Just be gentle. Okay, chain one. Skip one stitch, double crochet. Chain one. Skip one stitch, double crochet. Chain one. And then you are going to make a double crochet in the very last stitch. It's tricky sometimes, so that's why it's important not to do this last one. Extremely too tight, but not too loose either. And again, you should end up with 14 double crochet. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 plus the last double crochet plus the turning point and counting the spaces will be 18 stitches okay, let's do the other single crochet on top and then from there you can continue all the way until you achieve 60 inches long okay if you want it longer than that you can finish the whole skin of yarn I think I have some left over of it um, but you but the ideal is 60, inch, 60 inches. Also, if you wanna have a wider, you can do wider as well. You just need to know the count and he, um, it's a little tricky, but for now, let's just focus on the, on the long and the width that we have now that work because I just wanna keep as basic as possible for the beginners, okay? Now, let's start by making a single crochet stitches stitch it in the very first chain um, stitch this first stitch a little tricky here okay and then single crochet in into the space <laughs> then single crochet on top of the other double crochet stitches and we got it here okay now let's continue and we're going to meet at the very end. The very end should end 
the very last row should be a, a row of single crochet. So keep that in mind. Let's continue and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I reached the length of this project and I used the tape measurement to ensure I reach 60 inches. I am not going to cut the yarn yet because it's time to join the two ends. I joined the two ends by making slip stitches, joining the stitches of both ends together. If you're not familiar with this particular stitch, no worries because it's easy um, to learn and I'm going to show you how to slip stitch now. The reason why I'm doing slip stitch at the end is because I wanted, uh, want to reach a clean um, final project. So in order to do that, you know, slip stitch is my my best choice, okay? It's smoother at the end and you can barely tell where um, the works end, especially with a, with a infinity scarf. So let me show you now. We are going to join the two ends together and you're going to try to pair each of the single crochet stitches together, okay? Make as much as you can. If you see, you have a series of Vs, these on um, the last end row of the stitches and in the first row stitches. Okay, so all you need to do is pair them like this, put them together. Okay, they're like little couples. You have two strands here and two strands here. So they both together, okay? We are going to be working from front to back. And if you see you're struggling using this um, hook 6.5, millimeter you can actually use a lower number smaller one for now just don't tight the stitch too much okay and what we are going to do we are going to insert our hook from front to back in between the two strands of each row okay we are going to work here and I'm gonna try my first one I'm trying to I'm a little bit <laughs> fighting with the camera and the position, sorry for that guys. Okay, so I'm going to insert my hook in the first, let me identify which, where is it? Okay, this is the first one. In the third strand here, and then in the other one. So I have it here in between these four strands. I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to pull up a loop you have two loops on your hook and this first loop I'm going to draw this yarn through this last one and that's all you need to do and here you have your first slit stitch it's hard to see now because it's the first one let's go to the second one the next one we are going to insert our hook in between the two strands and the other two strands right next to it yarn over pull up a loop you have two loops now this loop the yarn i'm going to draw through the last loop and then you have another slip stitch let me do the next one super easy Now that we're done with this, we are going to leave at least eight to 10 inches. All I do is I pull here like this. I pull and I measure. I leave it like that, I do it by eye, so I'm so used to, okay? And if you want to measure, you can do so. 
Okay, I'm leaving eight inches of thread, okay? That's what I'm doing. A little bit more. And I cut right here. I cut right here at the end, okay? Get my... I do this, make a little knot, one, two, all right, and I pull a little bit down, and I have a little knot here that is going to be invisible at the end of it. Insert the yarn in the eye, tapestry eye. This is the eye. That's all you're gonna do, okay? Okay, and what we are going to do, we're going to weave the end, this end across the stitches. I do it in the back side here. I have the slip stitches showing here. So I turn this here okay and that's all you do across here And this is how it's done. Congratulations if this is your first crochet project. And if this video added any value to you, did you learn something new, any suggestions, questions or feedbacks, bad or good, please comment below at the end. I want to keep bringing to you good tutorials. So you are all the ones who are going to help me with all this. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe. Hey, don't forget to check out my videos where I show you step by step those skills needed in order for you to start this crochet journey. And don't forget to subscribe.